I'll imagine by now you're doing flat rate pricing. I hope so anyway. But there's a better way. Now this is still flat rate pricing. There's only one price that you're gonna present to the customer. But margin pricing is built just like your financial statements, your P&L statements, which stands for profit and loss. Your profit and loss statement is basically your report card, the health of your business. How good a job are you doing running your business? And you should always have your P&L statements available to you by the 15th of every month after you finish a month. Now what I want to talk about is this margin pricing thing. Maybe you've heard about it. I've been using it now for 25 years. There's three places in your financial statements that talks about margin. You have your gross profit, your gross margin, and then you have your profit margin. We want to affect those three things. And the only way to do it is to be able to price our products just like our financial statements read. And if we know how we want to price it, and we want to affect the numbers on our P&L statement directly, we need to use margin pricing. Margin pricing is super simple. It's so much easier than trying to figure out a flat rate price. A flat rate price is just a bunch of numbers and metrics and you add them all up and you pour them in a bowl and you got this big soup of all these ingredients and then you divide it by two because the numbers aren't right so two gets you closer. That's the formula. Come on. You got paralysis by analysis because you got all these KPIs all over the place but you don't even worry about the most important thing, which is the margins on your P&L statement. There is not a single KPI in existence that is more important than margin pricing. Until you figure this out, you're gonna struggle. It's not gonna change. You can really affect how your business runs by using margin pricing and the easy way that it is figured out. It's so simple that you can literally change 1% of the margin and see it a month later on your financial statement. But first, you have to get started.